how to format your USB stick to work in your DJ gear, your MacBook, your Pioneer CDJs, anything. If you want your USB sticks to work on any program, any software, any format, this is a very, very important step that you have to do correctly. I had a guy reach out to me the other day asking me about this. He had a USB stick. It works in his Windows computer, but it's not working on his MacBook and it's also not working in his DJ gear and he doesn't know what to do. So this is an old trick that a lot of people don't understand, but these sticks usually will come in NTFS file format. What we want to do is we want to format these to FAT32. And the problem with that is that that's not really an option anymore, especially on Windows computers. I believe most systems now are working on XFAT. Don't quote me on this. I'm not like a software engineer. I'm just a DJ who knows these things and have been doing this for a long time. So I know that you want to format this to at least FAT32. I'm not going to speak on XFAT because I don't have the information. So I'm just going to tell you FAT32. It's something I've done my entire career and it works flawless. It works in DJ gear. It works on my computer here, which is Windows, and it works on my MacBook Pro. And this right here, this is my SSD DJ hard drive that you guys have seen a million times. You guys know that I use Windows at home and I use Mac at the club. So I need to be sure that my hard drive is going to work on both my computer here and my MacBook Pro. And it also works lucky for me on DJ gear as well. So I can literally just plug this into any kind of like CDJ and it's just gonna work. All my music's gonna be there. It's all created up in folders. Like I don't even know how crates work cause I don't use all in ones, but I know that I can literally just plug this in and my crates would already be there. Because if you watch my crate videos, I build my crates in the same format that I build them on Serato on the hard drive so I can literally just plug this in and everything's gonna be there so let's get into this video right here I got this USB stick it's one of my little custom sticks that I give out to schools or people that I might want to give a little bit of content to pro tip if you're trying to get booked this is an awesome way that you can do it so let's jump right into it alright so first things first we're gonna plug in this USB and then we're gonna see how this thing came right off the hop all right, boom, so it just opened up, it loaded. But what we wanna find out right here is we wanna find out what file system this came on. All right, so what you're gonna see here is it came in NTFS. So from what I know, the best file format that you want is FAT32. Let me know in the comments if XFAT is good or not. I'm not the pro on that and I don't know. I've just been rocking FAT32 my entire career and it's worked flawless. I've never had an issue. So that's the way that I set my stuff up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right click your drive. You want to hit format. You're going to come over here and then right here it says FAT32. Boom. But something that you guys might not know is depending on the hard drive that you have, some don't even allow you to format into FAT32. So I'm going to drop a link to a FAT32 formatter. Make sure you have an antivirus. I've been using this program my whole life, but I don't want to be responsible for something that happens to you. And before you do anything like this, you back up everything. Make sure everything is backed up completely. Do not start formatting hard drives unless you have a very clear backup. You know exactly where it is. You do not want to brick your hard drive this way. So disclaimer, make sure you have a backup know what you're doing get an antivirus if you do download that file I do not want to be held responsible for anything bad that happens because with processes like this you are wiping the drive completely everything will be gone so make sure you know that it gives you a warning so let's hit it right now we're gonna hit this to fat 32 which was the default these were old school usbs i got from china so i guess that's why new stuff from what i know don't allow you to do fat 32 so you got to do the workaround but this one is so anyways we're gonna do the quick format we're just gonna call this test drive quick format we're gonna hit start warning formatting will erase all data on this disk to format the disk click OK to quit click cancel so we are we know that it's this it's I drive I there's nothing on it right here we got drive I the test drive boom hit start we did that already so we're ready OK boom
format complete, good to go. So we're gonna check out this test drive. Property says FAT32 now. So the only other thing I'm gonna show you guys is I'm gonna go load this in my MacBook and show you that you can literally load this drive on both Windows and Mac. Try that with an NTFS drive, you're gonna have a very sad experience. Uh, but I will just show you guys that this works and then I'm gonna show you guys the other FAT32 formatter. Formatter, I'll just put this here. This is the program here. I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna drop you guys a link to this. Now the way that this would work is you're gonna find your drive, which would most likely be this one here, vendor code USB device. You come in here, you'd select the region, format to FAT32. This is an old school program. Like this is going back to like Windows XP days. This is going way, way back. This is a way that I do it. Like I have a Nintendo Switch that I hacked and this is the same process. Like it has to be done in FAT32. It's not gonna work on any other process. So this is something that I have to always go through and do this process multiple times. I know that this is one that works on everything. Like it even works on my Nintendo Switch. So this is why I would kind of recommend that process. Again, XFAT might work. It might not work. I'm not sure. I don't have the answer to that. All I know is this does work. So make sure you know what you're doing before, especially before getting into a program like this, because this one is not as clear as Windows. You got to know exactly which device. Like I could accidentally pick one of my hard drives here and do something bad. And we're not going to do that. So make sure you know what you're doing. And last but not least, I'm just going to go get my laptop. I'm going to plug this in and show you guys that everything works and everything is good to go. So while we're here on this screen, I just want to show you guys, make sure you're always ejecting your hard drives. Um, this is something that could literally just brick your hard drive if it was like in operation and you just pulled it out without ejecting it. Sometimes you'll get like an error message saying this disk is still in use. That is something that can literally just brick your hard drive too. There's so many things that you got to watch out for. So just a disclaimer, always eject your hard drive. Boom. So here we go. Got my laptop here. Boom. And boom. All right, we're in. So I'm just going to start re screen recording on my Mac and then I will show you guys what's going on. Boom. Test drive. FAT32 formatter. Everything's good. We're good to go. So if you're just watching the end of the video, this is the conclusion. Format your drive to FAT32 before you do anything. Like if you buy a new hard drive, format it to FAT32 and then start working on it. If not, you gotta back it up, you gotta wipe it, reload everything back up because this is something that you're gonna run into. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but if you are a professional, you one day you are gonna have to plug into CDJs or you are gonna have to do something a little different with your setup and you need to know how to do that. And if you showed up to the club and your drive was not ready to go, you're going to have a very big problem performing. So like, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Let's go.